Hello, and welcome to episode 36 of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. Today I'm reviewing a favorite of mine, Crazy Climber. Crazy Climber was released in 1980 by Nihon Busan. My first time playing this game was at Oak Lawn Roller Rink in Oak Lawn, Illinois. Crazy Climber is a climbing style game in which you control a climber in his attempt to climb up a skyscraper. You control your climber with two eight-way joysticks, one for each arm. You control the right arm of your climber with the right joystick and the left arm with the left joystick. To climb the building, you can either climb the one level at a time method by lifting one arm to the next window and then lift the opposing arm and then pull both joysticks down to pull yourself up to the next level. Climbing this way is slow and deliberate and will give slightly more control, but the scores will be lower because it will take longer to climb up the building so you won't earn as many bonus points. The faster way to climb is the hand over hand method where you lift one arm and pull down on that arm and then you lift the other arm and you continue to climb at a faster rate. As you climb the building you must be careful because the windows will close and open at random. If one of your hands gets stuck in a closing window you will not be able to move but if both hands get stuck by a closing window you will fall off the building and lose a life. After losing a life, you will be returned to the same level that you fell from, although the dangers will not be there anymore. You are also able to straddle between the rows of windows, allowing you to maneuver around closed windows easier. During gameplay, the machine will talk to you, which was very new at the time. If you don't climb for a set period of time, a heckler will shout, go for it. If a falling object hits you, your climber will shout, ouch. And if you fall off the building, you will scream, oh no. The Japanese version makes sounds at the same time, although I don't know if it's in Japanese language or gibberish. You begin the first building with 10,000 bonus points, which will decrease 100 points approximately every 8 seconds or when any falling object hits you. The falling objects are falling plants, cans, water bottles, bird's eggs, and droppings. You can survive being hit by any of these items if you have a firm grip with both hands on a windowsill. But if only one of your hands has a full grip, you will fall off the building. Although if you have both hands gripping a windowsill, a hit by any of the above items will cause one of your hands to slip, and if you get hit before you regain your grip, you will fall. On buildings 1 and 3, about 3 quarters of the way up, King Kong will appear on either the left or the right side of the building. Kong will move from side to side while swatting his hand in an attempt to knock you off the building. You need to time your climb to avoid Kong's fist or you will fall. Beginning with the second building, girders and dumbbells will begin falling from above and being hit by one of these items can be scored as a multiple hit and even if you have a two-handed grip before being hit, you can still be knocked off the building because the first hit knocks one hand off and the second hit will knock you off the building. On buildings 3 and 4, there will be a giant sign with Crazy Climber written on it that will bounce down toward you. This sign will be 3 windows wide and will knock you off the building no matter how good of a grip you have, so it must be avoided at all costs. On buildings 2 and 4, there is a sign about 3 quarters of the way up the building that has a live electrical wire flailing that blocks one of the sets of windows. On level 2, the left side of the building, there is a safe column of windows where you won't contact the wire, but on the right side, one column of the windows is blocked by the sign and the wire on the other. Although you can climb through the wire, your climber will be shocked and will change colors, but you will survive unless you get shocked too many times and then you will fall. There is a small graphical glitch that after being shocked, occasionally the color of your climber will not return to normal, but it will not affect gameplay. Another thing I learned during making of this video is you can climb right over the electrical sign without losing a life. I'm not sure if this is a glitch in the MAME emulation or if it can be done on an actual arcade cabin. Once you reach the top of the building, there will be a helicopter flying above the building. It will fly up and down in a zigzag pattern and you need to grab onto the skid and it will take you away to the bottom of the next building and you will receive whatever bonus points are on the meter. If you take too long to grab the helicopter's skid, 
The copter will fly away and you will only receive 3,000 bonus points no matter what is on the meter. You will earn points for every floor you successfully climb. For the first building you will earn 100 points per floor. For the second building you will receive 150 points per floor. Building 3 you earn 200 points per floor. And building 4 you receive 250 points per floor. Your bonus timer for building 1 begins at 10,000 points and will increase 10,000 points per building. But when you finish building 4 you return back to building 1 with a 10,000 point bonus and a 100 point per floor climbed. Other things you will encounter will be a large helium balloon. If you are able to catch the string of the balloon, you will be carried upward around 10 floors and you will receive the points for said floors as if you had actually climbed them. This is a difficult but not impossible tact and although I've done it a few times, I couldn't get it on video. Another secret built into this game will allow you to earn two free credits. If you are able to achieve one of the top five scores and you enter the name Jordan.ltd will be awarded two free credits. I'm not sure if this code was left in for production and not taken out, or if it was just a way for one of the coders to play free when the game is in the field. Although this code is present in the United States release, it cannot be done due to the three letter limit for name entry for high scores. I really enjoy playing Crazy Climber and highly recommend playing this game if you can find it in an arcade setting or on an emulator. I like this game just barely more than Mario Brothers, but not quite as much as Root Beer Tapper, so Crazy Climber breaks into the top 5 with the 4th place ranking. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If there are any games you would like me to review, please leave a message in the comments section below or on my homepage. Please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for new videos every Wednesday and Sunday.